this. Thank you. So um, I'm just going to start recording this just to show you uh, how you should go about planning your play in a suit contract. Generally, count your losers from the viewpoint of the hand with the longer trumps, but take into account the high cards in both hands. Then see if you can avoid any of those losers, which sometimes you can do by discarding them or maybe by roughing them. And this is a really basic uh, part of declare a play in a suit contract. And yet I, I see it's something that a lot of people are still not managing to get right. Um, if you do have your microphone on, do keep the background noise to a minimum. If it gets noisy, of course, I will uh, mute you. So I wanted to look at a hand here as an example hand. This was one that was played um, last year. And the recommended bidding on this one was that South opens a week to spades. Um, and North might pass or they might bid three spades. Three spades is not an invitational bid. It's just designed to raise the preempt to try to keep East West out of the auction. So let's suppose that one way or another you end up in three spades. And let's just have a look at this as a simple example of making a plan and counting your losers. So I'm going to go through with you this one first of all, and then in the subsequent ones, I'll be asking you to do the same thing on different hands. So um, here we are in three spades. Your opponents have led the queen of diamonds, and I'm going to count my losers in the hand with the long trumps, which is my own hand, but taking into account all the strength in dummy. So I can see um, immediately that in spades, I hope I won't lose any tricks there. So I'm counting no losers there. In the heart suit, I have a potential loser. I have the ace and king, but that third heart might be a loser. And in diamonds, I've got two losers. And in clubs, I've got two losers. So I start off with one, two, three, four, five potential losers there. If I asked you how many losers might you have, the answer would be five on this one. But some of you, I'm sure, are already looking ahead and are realizing that because you only have two hearts in dummy, you will be able to rough one of those. That means that we want to make sure we keep a trump in dummy so that we can rough. And although you could draw two rounds of trumps, you mustn't draw three rounds of trumps or you won't be able to do any roughing. So that's my plan on this hand. I start, start out with five losers, and I'm hoping to avoid a heart loser by roughing. <coughs> Any questions on that? This is how it goes. The opponents take their king of diamonds, their ace of diamonds. That's two tricks gone. They now shift to their clubs. They take the ace of clubs, and they take another club. Nothing we can do about that. And then they play, well, I suppose they play a diamond. Of course, we have to follow here. Now, East might rough this if he's short in diamonds, but we're not bothered by that. We can just over rough, okay? And we have different ways we could play this. We could draw um, a couple of rounds of trumps and then play the hearts. Although the chance, if we don't draw trumps, if we just cash play the hearts of a rough is very remote here. We've, we've only started out with five hearts here between us, so the opponents have got eight. So, you know, the chance that, that they're badly divided and they're able to rough, say, the second or even the third um, heart is very um, small. So you could draw two rounds of trumps, or you could just go for the hearts um, straight away, play the ace and the king. And if that succeeds, you're now in great shape. You can now rough that last heart. You may as well rough this one high because you, the jack and the ten have gone. You can rough with the nine, play the ace, and then draw the last trump. Okay, and you'll make nine tricks there very easily, I hope, uh, just by uh, roughing a, a heart. Okay, any comments on that? You can see on this hand, the one way you don't want to play this is to draw 
all three rounds of trumps. It will take three rounds to draw the opponent's trumps uh, normally. And if you do that, you'll be left with a hard loser at the end. Any comments or questions on that? So let's have a look at another one. And this one was uh, played last year. And um, most people ended up in something like three spades on this one. But uh, about half of the people didn't make it. So what I'd like you to do is take a minute and I'm going to launch a poll now to ask you the same question I did last time, which is how many losers are there in the south hand, but taking into account all the strength in dummy? How many losers would you expect in the south hand, take into account all the strength in dummy? And then once you've worked that out, work out how you're going to play this hand. So I'm going to launch a poll now to ask you how uh, how are you going to how many losers do you expect how many losers do you start off with and then we can discuss how many uh, how you're going to try to make your contract. So here's the poll question and I'd like you to choose an answer three, four, five, or six. How many losers do you start off? I know a lot of people struggle with counting losers, and um, so I'm just trying to go through it very methodically so that you can hopefully <clears throat> figure out how to do this in real life. So 80% have voted. Any more? Okay, so let's end that there. And I'm just going to share the results with you. The majority have gone for five. 77% said five. 20% said four. And one person said six. So let's see. Let's stop sharing those results and see if uh, the majority is uh, correct there. So counting our losers, let's do it a suit at a time. We've obviously got one spade loser and we've got two heart losers. We expect to lose one spade and two hearts. Now, in diamonds, in the south hand, we also have a diamond loser. We've got the ace king and another um, uh, and then another card. So we, we have a potential diamond loser and we have a club loser. So those of you who said five are correct. We have five potential losers in our hand. But of course, we hope to do better than that because just like on the last hand, we have a, a roughing possibility in diamonds. So what we're going to do on this hand is plan to rough a diamond in dummy um, and uh, hold our losers to just four tricks. All right. Stop me if I'm uh, going too fast, if you have any questions. So the opponents start off with the jack of hearts, which is um, not surprising. That was East's suit. Uh, East opened their one heart and they play the king. You have to follow. They play the ace and you have to follow. And they play a third heart here. And you should realize that you probably need to rough this one. Um, and you also should try to rough it reasonably high. In fact, all your trumps are good except for the ace. You've got the king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight. So I'm going to rough with one of those high-ish cards. So it can't be over except for the ace. And indeed, West may have over by a rough row. So I've now... Um, won that uh, trick. And again, I've got two possibilities. I can start drawing trumps, but I must be careful not to draw all the trumps. Or I'm reasonably safe just to play the diamonds here. There's a very small chance that 
the first or second diamond would get roughed. Um, but if it doesn't, you can just play a third round. We'll rough this one uh, high. We've got very good trumps. And now we're in great shape. Now we're just going to draw the remaining trumps. They'll get in at some point with their ace. But whatever they play now, we can win that, draw the remaining trumps, and uh, we'll end up losing one club at the end, which we can't do anything about. And we'll make our nine tricks there. Any um, comments or questions on that? Let me just bring up the, uh, the four hands. Um, you can see again that um, even though you had nine trumps here, the trumps were divided three and one. So it would have been okay to start drawing trumps, but you don't want to draw uh, trumps to the extent that the opponents will be able, that you won't be able to rough any diamonds there. So um, any comments or questions on that? That, I hope, was also relatively straightforward. Um, I wanted to look at a hand that was played last year. And this one was uh, board nine here, was generally played in a heart, heart score contract in one heart, two hearts, three hearts, or one person played it in four hearts. <clears throat> if we have a look at the traveler, you can see that about half the people got 170 on this. So there's a few 170s there. And the other half got 140s, or one person who bid four hearts went down. So it makes a vast difference here to get 170 if you can. You can see 170 scores you 13 out of 16 points, whereas 140 just scores you 5 out of 16. So, um, I wanted to look at how this was played in a couple of different ways. And again, we're going to try and make a plan just as we did on, on the other hand. So let's have a look at this one. Sorry, there's a slight delay bringing it up when I'm running uh, Zoom. So this was one time it was played. It went one heart, one spade. Now, I don't know what you think about that one spade bid. It's a reasonable choice. Um, you only have five points there, so um, it's marginal. You, I, uh, quite a few people passed this, didn't bid anything. Um, anyway, they bid one spade, and South decided just to go straight to four hearts, which is a slightly ambitious bid, especially if you don't know you've got any kind of heart bit. But nonetheless, they end up here in four hearts, and. What we're going to do on this hand is um, make a plan in the same way as before. I want you to look at the south hand, that's the hand with the long trumps, and make a plan on the basis of how many losers you have in each suit. So take a minute and count your losers, the number of losers you start off with, and I'm going to launch a similar poll to last time uh, to ask you how many losers do you start off with in the south hand? Can I change my mind? You can try. <laughs> I believe you can change your vote, yes. No, no, I've done it wrong. <laughs> well, never mind. There's nothing riding on this. And your answer is anonymous. I won't use it against you. Okay, let's um, end the polling there. And I'll, again, I'll share the results with you. The majority have gone for four, 56%, and 30% said three, and 15% said five. So the majority went for four. Let's have a look at this and see what we think. Um, so let's have a look at the suits one at a time. 
we've got how many spade losers? One. How many heart losers? None. And in diamonds, we have three potential losers. One, two, three. Okay. We don't have any club losers. Okay. So we're going to count this as four uh, potential losers, one spade and three diamonds. And obviously, again, just like on the other hand, there's a chance to avoid one of those losers. The diamond loser we can avoid if we can rough it in dummy. So that's going to be our plan. If, if, if we are able to do that, then we will make uh, 10 tricks on this hand. So let's see how it went. I'm going to look at how this was played a couple of different times. And this was one way it was played. Um, West was on lead, of course. And first thing um, I notice is that they led the Jack of Spades. Now, you may think that with the King, Queen and Jack, you can lead whatever you like. But really, that is the wrong card. You should be leading top of the sequence. Um, your sort of misleading your partner here. You may think you're misleading Declara, but it doesn't really matter to Declara here. Um, you, you should get in the habit of making the right lead, which is the top of the sequence here. Anyway, this is what did happen. They played the uh, jack, and Declara won that one with the ace. And Declara now starts drawing trumps. And you can see, by looking at the east-west hand, that they actually have to, if they want to draw all the trumps, it will take three rounds. So they, they took the ace of hearts, they played another half back. Then they um, didn't draw the last trump yet, they started playing spades. Maybe they had the idea that they would uh, rough some spades. And indeed they did rough a spade um, here. But can you see it did them no good whatsoever to rough spades? They were roughing in the hand with the long trump suit and that rarely leads to any extra tricks. So they, they roughed that one. They then drew the last trump, which is a, um, another mistake. And now um, they're probably going to lose three diamonds. Unless they're lucky and the opponents have discarded their diamonds, uh, you're almost certain to lose three tricks here, which is what happened. And they, um, they, they've just made nine tricks there. All right. So about half the declarers on this hand did not make um, 10 tricks, uh, and about half of them did. Let's have a look at how it was played um, much better. Let's bring that up. This is one of the times it made 10 tricks. Um, this time it was just one heart passed out, which is quite reasonable as well. Um, and let's see what happened this time. They started off with the king of spades, which I uh, think is a good lead there. Declara lost that one. That doesn't really matter. They took the second one. And now Declara started on diamonds. You've got to attack the diamonds early on so that you get a rough. Now, they get in, of course. Here they play the club back. Um, now, Declara played a heart here. That's not quite the best play. You really just want to be playing diamonds, okay? Forcing out the ace and the king. And then while there's still a trump in dummy, you should rough your last diamond. Here it's probably would have been better to, um, sorry, it would have been better to rough with the eight, just in case. Whoops, sorry, I brought the name up. Um, but in any case, you're okay, you rough there. And now you're able to uh, draw the remaining trumps and claim 10 tricks on that one. So just a simple matter, and yet about half people didn't manage to, to make 10 tricks. Interestingly on this one, if I go right back to the beginning and click on the GIB button, it will actually tell me that the best lead for the defense, which leads to... Um, Declara making two extra tricks is a trump. In other words, if the opponents lead a heart and play hearts every chance they get, they can actually draw the opponent, draw Declara's trumps, and they won't be able to get a, a diamond rough. So a trump lead was the best lead, as it turned out on this hand, 
although I don't, uh, no one actually did lead a Trump. Um, they all did something else. And so Declarer should have been able to make 10 tricks on that one. Any comments or questions? Let's try another one. And again on this one, um, I'm going to launch a poll in a minute to ask you how many losers you expect here, um, based, assuming that the missing cards, you've got some cards you need to worry about. I'm, I'm just going to assume they led the, um, sorry, I'm assuming they led the Ace of Diamonds here. And let's just have a look at this from North South's point of view. And I want you to, again, try and count your losers, your expected losers in the South end, but taking into account all the strength in dummy. So take a minute, count your losers, and I will launch a poll. And here goes uh, the third poll. These are all very similar questions, but taking how many losers do you start off with? Assume the most likely distribution of the missing card. So most likely distribution in hearts, most likely distribution in spades, for example. Okay, we're going to um, end the polling there. We've had 87% um, have voted. And here are the uh, results. Most of you have gone for six losers there. That's 55%. Closely followed by five losers, 34%. Four losers, 7%. And someone was very optimistic, three losers, 1%. So... Uh, the majority went for six losers. Let's see if we agree with that. Um, so let's look at the suits one at a time. Well, I did say with the most likely distribution in the missing cards, I think we expect to lose one spade because we've got eight trump. Uh, the opponents have got five. If the most likely distribution is three, two, we expect one loser there. What about hearts? We have seven hearts between us, which means your opponents have got six. The most likely distribution is four, two, not three, three. And if they are divided four, two, that leaves us with a potential heart loser. So we do have a possible heart loser. We said a possible spade loser. And I think you can see in each minor suit, these are two losers in each suit. We expect to lose two diamonds and we expect to lose two clubs. That's unless the opponents um, you know, make a mistake, all right? So those of you who said six are correct. Yes, there are six possible losers here. Um, so let's see what we're going to do on this one. Um, they lead the ace of diamonds, and we, of course, have to follow. They take two diamonds. They then play a heart. Okay, well, let's see. So we can win that one. And what we're going to do on this hand is we want to retain the possibility of roughing a heart here. In other words, we had a possible heart loser, but there's a chance of roughing it, and that will mean we have to keep some trump in dummy. Now, the way to play the trumps here is to hope that they do divide 3-2 and only draw two rounds, okay? So what we're going to do is play the king, play the ace, and if everyone follows, there's now just one trump out, and we're going to 
leave it out. We're going to play our hearts. They can rough with our high trump at some point, but we've retained a trump in dummy to rough a heart if uh, if necessary. So we'll uh, we'll play a heart here. They come in with a rough, so um, that's fine. Now we can now uh, we don't have to play high on that one, and now we're in good shape. Whatever they play back here, we can rough that one. And our heart is good again. And we've got two trumps. So we'll make our um, we'll make our eight tricks on that one. Mm -hmm. So basically, if I bring up the four hands, you'll see that you did get a bad trump break, and you 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 basically were able to draw sorry, to um, retain a trump in dummy so that you can rough, uh, rough a heart there. Okay, any comments on that? Again, when this one was played, um, not everyone made eight tricks there, but again, it's all about thinking ahead and thinking about the possibility of needing to rough a heart in dummy. Okay, any comments on that? So we'll end the uh, we'll end the meeting there. Then um, just remember, you know, to be aware of that possibility. Delay drawing trumps in certain situations, so you can uh, rough uh, rough in dummy. And I think one of the hardest hands are are hands like where you've got nothing. Like if we go back to this earlier one, hands where you know the right line of play is to play the diamonds early, even though. You can see you're giving away tricks, but it really is the only way to, uh, to, to be able to guarantee that you're able to rough ones. Um, we'll end the meeting there if there are no questions. And uh, this is an opportunity now for anyone who needs a partner for the afternoon session at two o'clock to speak up. So yes, if you don't, I do. I do. Okay. okay, so if you don't need a partner, you can leave the meeting now. Um, but if you need a partner, uh, just uh, I'll stop sharing. I can see who's speaking. Tell me, uh, who, who was it who spoke Trisha. to us there? Yes, it's Trisha. Trisha, Trisha McLaughlin. Trisha right? McLaughlin, yes, yeah. I need a partner. Okay, anyone else? Um, I do too, Tony. Tina. Tina. Okay, who else? Do unmute yourselves. I need a partner, John Locke. Yes, John Locke, that's right, you did tell me. Anyone else? I mean, of the, so there's three people there. Does anyone want to volunteer to play with anyone in particular, if you, if you know each other? Otherwise, I'll, I'll just partner you up. Okay. I don't know anyone. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, jo um John, do you want to play with Tina, and I'll play with Trisha McLaughlin? Okay, yes. Will that work for you? I'll play with you, I'll okay. play with you Trisha. Okay, thanks, Tony. Thanks, so look out for me. Yes. Um, okay. I'll, wait in the, um, I'll wait in the lobby room. Okay, I'll wait once, in the lobby room. You, once you see me join the yes. table, then, then you join in. Too, yeah, join right? in. Thank you, Tony. Okay. Anyone Thank else? you, Tony. Bye-bye then, everyone. Bye. Bye. We'll see you all online. John, what's it? John, what's John's uh, second name? Uh, uh, shall I meet him in the lobby then? I'm John Locke. Locke. L O C K. Okay. Jo just, uh -huh. just join a table and, and, and you'll see each other there. Okay, thank you. Okay, All so right. it's seen it. All right, bye bye. Okay. All right, I'll end the call there. If we head up, everyone, and right. see you all on the line in a little while. All right, bye, thank everyone. You, bye.